Okay, so we actually were able to validate 52% of our customers are from social from a post-purchase survey. That's just people purchasing. Imagine they came to the store and they couldn't find their size and then they left. But just for customers alone, we were able to validate the 52% all came from social, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is. It's very, very tricky because not all customers want to follow that click thing. Some of them want to go direct to the brand site and that makes measurement really hard. So post-purchase survey is a very smart way of doing it. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I know I've seen, like, I've fallen for all those UGC videos uh, on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok. And I know I just keep it in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go direct to the store. So that's how I would do it. And um, But if we pull back on social, then we see that drop in direct. We see that drop in all the other channels as well. So we spend about 30 to 40% of our budget just on social alone. And your instincts is if it's going down, you're going to push social a little more, right? Oh, 100%, yeah. 100%. Whereas most people are like, oh, we're going to pull back on spend. They're going to spend uh, money on the bottom of the funnel so they can look better. We don't want to just look better. We want to do better. Brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you.